Obsessed with the Aryan superiority and driven by the need for Lebensraum, or living space, Hitler's Germany expanded exponentially. From its humble beginnings in the heart of Europe, the Third Reich grew like a malignant tumor, spreading its tendrils across the continent in a relentless pursuit of dominance. At its core, this expansion was fueled by the twisted ideology of racial superiority, a belief system that placed the Aryan race atop a fabricated hierarchy. This notion of Aryan supremacy was the driving force behind Hitler's aggressive expansionism, a policy that sought to establish German hegemony over vast territories, from the windswept plains of Russia to the sun-kissed shores of the Mediterranean. The territorial ambitions of Nazi Germany were not mere whims of a power-hungry dictator. They were meticulously planned, methodically executed, and deeply ingrained in the nation's psyche. From the early days of the Third Reich, Hitler envisioned a German empire that stretched from the Atlantic to the Urals, a colossal landmass that would provide the living space he believed was essential for the survival and prosperity of the Aryan race. During the war, this vision began to take shape. From the original size of 469,000 square kilometers in 1925, Germany expanded to a colossal 2,700,000 square kilometers. Territorial gains included key regions such as Austria, the Sudetenland, and vast swathes of Eastern Europe, each acquisition bringing Hitler one step closer to his grandiose dream. But what if their territorial ambitions had been fully realized? What if the Nazi war machine had overcome the critical flaws that ultimately led to its downfall? Imagine a world where the map of Europe is not a colorful mosaic of diverse nations, but a monochrome canvas painted in the grim shades of the swastika. This is the foundation of fear, the chilling premise that underlies our exploration of a world where the Nazis had won the war. Germany faced numerous obstacles, a stretched economy, a two-front war, and critical resource shortages. The Reich's economy was strained to its limit, fueling a war machine that demanded an ever-increasing supply of resources. Simultaneously, Germany grappled with the monumental task of fighting a two-front war against a coalition of powerful adversaries. The scarcity of critical resources, such as oil and food, further complicated the war effort. Now, let's delve into an alternate reality where these hurdles were miraculously overcome. Picture a world where Germany's economy was robust enough to support a prolonged war, where their forces efficiently managed a two-front war, and where their resource shortages were a non-issue. Imagine a scenario where strategic blunders at Stalingrad and Kursk never occurred, and the Nazis somehow outmaneuvered their adversaries. This would have tilted the balance of power in favor of the Axis, potentially altering the course of history as we know it. Victory would have seen the Greater German Reich expand eastward, with genocidal plans reshaping Eastern Europe. Imagine a world where the Iron Curtain never fell, but instead an even more insidious barrier arose. The Nazis, fueled by their obsession with racial purity and territorial expansion, would have embarked on a chilling mission to Germanize Eastern Europe. This new world order would have seen nations such as Poland, Ukraine, and Russia stripped of their identities, their histories rewritten, and their cultures obliterated. The Nazis would have implemented the General Plan Ost, a sinister blueprint for ethnic cleansing on an unimaginable scale. Millions of Slavic people would have been forcibly removed, enslaved, or worse, exterminated. In their place, German settlers, lured by promises of fertile land and plentiful resources, would have moved in. These settlers would have been tasked with creating a new society, a society that reflected the Nazis' twisted ideals. The Slavic heritage of these regions, rich and diverse, would have been systematically erased, replaced by a monolithic German culture. Cities would have been renamed, monuments dismantled, and school curriculums rewritten to glorify the Reich. German would have become the lingua franca, and the Nazi salute a chillingly commonplace greeting. This would have been a world where diversity was feared, not celebrated, and where dissent was crushed ruthlessly. Populations would be decimated, and German settlers would colonize vast tracts of land, altering the demographic and political landscape forever. The human cost is unimaginable, with planned exterminations reaching numbers far beyond the horrors already witnessed. A chilling vision of a Nazi victory, 
paints a picture of a world where humanity's darkest attributes reign supreme. The sheer scale of the atrocities is hard to fathom, from mass exterminations to forced labor and systematic oppression. The Nazis' insidious plans for ethnic cleansing, driven by their perverse ideology, would have meant devastation for millions. Whole populations would have been uprooted, societies torn apart, families shattered. The fabric of entire cultures and ethnicities would have been irrevocably damaged, their histories forever marred by the specter of ruthless oppression. The scars of such a conquest would have been etched deep into the soul of humanity, a haunting testament to the depths of human cruelty. A victorious Nazi regime would have carried out ethnic cleansings on an unprecedented scale. The geopolitical landscape would be drastically altered. With a Nazi victory, we would see a world where the Axis powers held sway, with Germany at the helm. The balance of power would shift dramatically from the Allied nations to the Axis, with Europe and potentially large parts of Asia and Africa under Nazi control. This would redefine international relations and diplomacy. The United Nations, as we know it, might not exist, replaced by a Nazi-led global organization promoting their totalitarian ideology. The United States, however, would likely remain a formidable adversary. Their industrial might and geographical isolation would make them a bastion of democracy in a world dominated by totalitarian regimes. This could lead to a chilling scenario, a cold war between the United States and a Nazi superpower. The world would be divided between these two opposing ideologies, leading to a nuclear arms race. The Iron Curtain of our history could be replaced by a Nazi curtain, with ideological battle lines drawn across the globe. Economically, the Reich's GDP would skyrocket, but at a grave human cost. A Nazi victory would have led to a surge in economic power, as the conquered territories and their resources would have been exploited to fuel the Reich's ambitions. The wealth of nations would be siphoned off, creating an economic powerhouse centered around Germany. Yet, the economic prosperity of the Reich would be built on the ruins of other societies. The Nazi regime, with its racial ideologies, would have ushered in a new social order. The Aryan race would be perched at the top, with others subjected to varying degrees of subjugation. Imagine a world where your social status, your rights, and your very existence would be determined by your race. The Nazi ideology would seep into every corner of society, affecting everything from education to religion, from art to science. Society would be rigidly stratified, with Nazi ideology permeating every facet of life, from education to religion. Militarily, the Reich would boast an unparalleled force, potentially leading to innovations in warfare and technology. The Nazis held a fascination for the cutting edge, and their victory could have catapulted us into an age of technological horrors. Imagine a world where the V-2 rocket was just the beginning, where the potential of nuclear weaponry was fully realized by a regime with no moral compass. Picture skies dominated by advanced aircraft, seas prowled by fleets of advanced U-boats, and land battles dictated by terrifying weapon systems. The Nazis had a keen interest in the bizarre and the outlandish, with projects ranging from jet fighters to supposed wonder weapons. In a world where they emerged victorious, such projects could have received unlimited funding and support, leading to a rapid and potentially disastrous technological evolution. These advancements could have sent humanity on a terrifying path. Thankfully, this dark future never came to pass. In the tangible realm of history, the tide of World War II did turn, but not in favor of the Nazis. The resilience of the Allied forces and the indomitable spirit of occupied nations rose against the Axis powers, reshaping the world not under the shadow of the swastika, but under the banner of unity and freedom. Consider the unimaginable strength summoned by ordinary men and women who refused to bow to tyrannical forces. They fought on battlefields, they resisted in the shadows, and they kept the flame of hope alive in the darkest of times. Their collective courage and sacrifice formed a bulwark against the onslaught of totalitarianism. In the aftermath of the war, countries ravaged by conflict began the arduous task of rebuilding. From the ashes emerged a new world order, one that aimed to prevent such a devastating war from ever happening again. The creation of the United Nations in 1945 marked a significant step towards promoting peace and fostering international cooperation. 
Europe, the epicenter of the conflict, underwent a remarkable transformation. Bound by shared trauma and a collective desire for peace, nations came together to form what we now know as the European Union. This union serves as a testament to humanity's capacity for reconciliation and unity in the face of adversity. The world today is far from perfect, and we still grapple with the echoes of past conflicts. But it's a world where the Nazi ideology has been largely relegated to the annals of history, a grim reminder of the destruction that can be wrought by hatred and intolerance. Exploring these what-if scenarios reminds us of the fragile nature of freedom and the importance of standing against tyranny. It underscores the vital role each of us plays in shaping the course of history, in safeguarding our shared values, and in ensuring that the shadow of what never was remains just that, a shadow, never to be given in substance. Thank you for joining us on this journey through an alternate history. We've explored the shadows of what could have been, and in doing so, we've gained a deeper appreciation for the world we live in today. If you've enjoyed this exploration and would like to continue delving into thought-provoking content, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us to continue creating and sharing these narratives. If this video has sparked your interest, ignited your imagination, or simply given you something to think about, we encourage you to share it with your friends and family. It's through these shared experiences and discussions that we keep history alive and relevant. And finally, we'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this alternate history? What other what-if scenarios would you like us to explore? Please leave your comments below and join the conversation. Remember, your engagement helps us create more content like this. Do you have a family member who participated? What is their story? Share the answer in the comments. Subscribe, share, and keep the conversation going. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring and subscribe for more videos like this one.